Colours. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a French seam. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got an example of a French seam. It's a narrow seam and it's a seam that you kind of find in lingerie, children's wear. It's a very elegant and classic seam. It's a seam that's encased in another seam and I'm now going to show you how to do that. The way to actually sew a French seam is to place the wrong side of the fabric. I know I'm working with sheer here, but it is an excellent example of um, using a French seam and you'll be able to see um, the demonstration a lot better. So remember, you've got the wrong side and the wrong side. So I'll actually be doing the seam on the right side, the first seam, which is going to be 0 0.5 and a quarter of an inch. Now remember, when you're actually sewing a French seam, you need to make sure that you're working on the right side of the actual garment. So remember, we're going to be doing a narrow seam. So if you prefer, you can use a width of your foot if you want to keep it as straight a line as possible. But it's roughly about 0.5 centimetres or a quarter of an inch. Needle down. That's it. I'm using contrasting thread and I'm also using sheer fabric which is a fabric you will find um, quite a few French seams and particularly in lingerie, it's a really beautiful seam. All the way to the end, this is the first seam that is sewn on the right side. And then the next thing to do is we want a narrow seam. So we need to cut away as close, but not too close, a couple of millimetres away from the actual stitch line. All the way down. Keep it as straight as possible. I think I've done that pretty okay. Do that up. There we go. And the next thing to do is to open out your fabric and press your seam to one side. I've now pressed my seam and I pressed it to one side. As you can see, it's a very narrow seam. And then we're working on the wrong side of the garment and I'm gonna do a second row of stitching encasing the first seam. When you're ready to sew the second seam, make sure that your first stitching is on the fold of your actual seam. That's important because it just helps it to stay in place and to get the accuracy of the seam right. So we're working with 0.5 centimetres, roughly about a quarter of an inch. Get that started. And again, you're going to go as straight as possible and hopefully my cut seam will not be caught in the second seam which can be tricky when you're doing a French seam you just need to be aware of that and also make sure when you do iron that you are gentle so there we have the second seam. This is the French seam. As you can see, it's a very beautiful and narrow seam. Remember, this is the wrong side. If I turn it over to the right side, you can see the seam just there. And then obviously, when you're working with the fabric, um, you make sure you have your thread that matches your fabric. Now, the trick with sewing the second seam is not to entrap the first seam and on the sample that I've just sewn that isn't the case but the one I did previously if I can just bring it up to camera you can see the first seam these little fibers here these little hairs this is what can ha happen when you don't cut a straight enough edge on your first seam so do be aware of that when you're making your French seams I hope that you found that video tutorial helpful. Remember French seams are very elegant seams and you do tend to find them more in lingerie. They are very narrow and also you can find them on fabrics such as chiffon, 
foil, lace, so do bear that in mind. And if you have any questions or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.